Hi friends. Once again, welcome back to Oracle SQL and PL SQL Group. So, in my previous video, we have seen Accenture interview questions on SQL. So, here in this video, we are going to see and discuss about the interview questions on PL SQL. So, friends, uh, I just discussed with all of my friends and also I told them to gather the Accenture interview questions. And also, few of my friends they are really working on interview panel who use it to do and take the interviews for Accenture company so I just have spoken with them and then I have collected the interview questions from them and I have listed out everything here so friends why do we wait let's get started so here are the PLA SQL interview questions we can start reading out this by discussing each one of them so First question is when we give select star from EMP, how does Oracle respond? What is the difference between union and minus? What is the relation between view and trigger? Write a query to get second maximum salary in an employee table. Friends, this is the very 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 most and very most important question when you go for a interview on SQL or PL SQL. So here how can we find the second maximum salary friends this is very easy for finding the maximum salary we can use max function that is select max of salary from employee so this query will give you maximum salary but when we need second maximum salary here uh, we can give a query like select max of salary from employee where salary not in we have to start writing sub query here select maximum of salary from employee that means in sub query you are selecting maximum salary in outer query you are selecting maximum salary that is not in maximum salary of employee that means it will be give you the second maximum salary friends you can either give not in or less than you can also use less than that means select maximum of salary from employee where employee salary less than sub query will be like this select maximum salary from employee so this is how you can answer this question and the next question was what is an index and type of indexes how many number of indexes can be used per table what is a constraint type of constraints what is a trigger when we can declare a column has unique and not null both at the same time that means when you say unique and not null friends that is a primary key so it is possible next question is what is the use of primary key so friends the main purpose of primary key is that we can remove the duplicates that means primary key defines that the attributes or combination of attributes that uniquely identifies a row or record in a relation is called as primary key so that means it won't allow duplicate values as well as null values next question will function return more than one value how function can return more than one value yes it is possible actually in normal function is not possible function always returns one value but we can achieve this one using some other mechanisms we will discuss it later next question is what is the per command explain about oracle performance tuning next one is give an example of any procedure how will we see framework of a table moving on to the next slide and reading out the next one what is difference between procedure and function friends this is also a most important question so when you talk about the difference between procedure and function uh, procedure may or may not return a value whereas function must return a value this is the first main difference and the next one is function always return one value by default but procedure may or may not return a value and also we have predefined that means pre-executable compiler in procedure but not in function and also we can use functions in select statement but we cannot use procedure in select statement friends these are the three important differences between procedure and function 
so the next question is how to return value using procedure in plsql this is the easy question friends we have in out and in out operators that means different modes of operators are there in procedures that is in is used to read the input value out is used to display or return the value in out is used to perform the both the operations so for returning the value using procedure you can go for out out mode so next question is what is the syntax of plsql function so the syntax will look like create function function name is or as and then declarations and then we can close it it's same as procedure but the only difference is we will have return function inside the function but in procedure we will not have return statement inside the procedure this is the difference and what is the view so view is a virtual table that means it will not exist physically it's a temporary table and what is materialized view so it is also a view but it's not a temporary table it will be stored in database so when you talk about difference between view and materialized view see if you see here the next question is difference between view and materialized view so view is a temporary table but the materialized view is permanent table like how we have main tables we can update the view directly but we cannot do the update operations on materialized view and one more main difference is views are used to improve the security of a database but materialized view is used to increase the performance of the database so view is used for security purpose and materialized view is used for performance purpose yes next question is what is package in plsql so friends uh, package is nothing like a collection of both procedure and function so there is nothing but uh, grouping together functions and procedures are grouping together is called as package in plsql so what is advantage of package so there are several ad advantages in plsql when you talk about the package because we will have security we will have code reusability likewise we have so many advantages so what is the index what is a sequence what is a trigger in plsql this is also important question so trigger whenever you execute dml or ddl operations in database the trigger will be automatically fired on a particular table that is a definition of a trigger so triggers we can create triggers on tables views and also database the trigger that we create on database is called as system triggers and the normal triggers will be created on tables and views what is the use of plsql trigger and how many types of triggers are there friends there are totally 12 types of triggers so before insert actually we have four dml operation insert update and delete so uh, sorry three so uh, while performing before after statement level row level so this four into that three totally will have all types of triggers in database what is the synonym in plsql what is the collection in plsql friends collection is nothing like a array how we have array in different programming language so it is uh, uh, when it is required to define collection you know uh, collection defines that uh, the sequence of data which has a similar data type and each and every data element will have a unique subscript used to identify the address of a element that means collection of elements with the same data type is called as collection but each and every element will have a unique subscript that is used to identify the position of the element in a collection so next question is how to reduce the execution time of a any sql query friends this is the question regarding to the performance tuning and the next question and this one is the last question uh, do you know about bulk collect and for all so that's all friends these are the several questions frequently asking in interview question most probably when you go to attend the interview you definitely you will get a 
60 to 80 percent of questions from these questions thank you friends in my next video i will be sharing the answers for all these questions and i will be uploading the interview questions of other mnc top level companies so for more recent interview questions of various companies please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching this video thank you so much friends